Hello there, my name is Blazing Zeddy. Today we're going to be doing a hero story run of Shadow the Hedgehog for SGDQ 2016. Let's begin. We'll start off by first completing the first level of this game, which is Westopolis. Each level in this game has about two or three missions that can be completed. These missions are known as the Normal Missions, the Hero Missions, and the Dark Missions. Depending on which mission we complete, we'll be able to progress through the level map differently, and we'll have to complete different levels as a result of that. For this level though, I'll be completing the Normal Mission, which is simply to just reach the goal ring near the end of the level. To do this, I'm going to gather as many hero points as possible to fill up my hero meter, which you can see in the top left hand corner. I can do this by killing enemies, healing allies, or doing good deeds like putting out fire. Once I fill up my hero meter, I'll become Hero Shadow, who has the power to use Chaos Control, which I can use to fly through a portion of the level. Alright, now that I've acquired Chaos Control, I can utilize Chaos Control Glitch, which is an exploit of a race condition where I'm in a checkpoint state, but still progressing through the level as if I was in Chaos Control. We'll be in this mode until we get stopped by this barrier here, in which case I'll just have to complete the level as normal, with normal Chaos Control. And like that, we complete the normal mission for Westopolis. find all of the emeralds, then I'll find the truth. At this point in the runs and future points where we're just mashing through cutscenes, that's all we're really doing. There's nothing really to see or progress through. So if there was any donations to be read, these would be the times to do so. The next level here is Glyphic Canyon. For this level, we'll also be completing the normal mission which is just to get to the goal ring at the end of the level. To do this, I'll be using two special weapons that I've unlocked during previous playthroughs of the game. Hey, Shadow! You saw him too, didn't you? Those black creatures floating around here? First weapon here is the Shadow Rifle. This weapon usually kills most enemies in a single shot. However, this is not always the case. The next weapon here is the Heal Cannon. This allows me to heal my allies, which is the gun soldiers in this case. I was able to heal those gun soldiers at the same time within the same shot because I was able to unload and reload them in as downed enemies. Therefore, they were spawning in a similar location for me to heal them at the same time. So here I'll be using the Chaos Control to get to this checkpoint right here. And from here we'll use Chaos Control Glitch. Unlike the last level though, there will be nothing stopping us from reaching the end, so this is really just a auto-scroller at this point. Another good time to read any donations if there were any. I'd like to take this opportunity now to explain how we're going to progress through this run. For this run, we'll be completing missions that will let us reach the level Cosmic Fall. The fastest way to do this is to complete normal missions up until the last two missions, which we will be completing hero missions. After we complete Cosmic Fall, we just need to beat the boss, and then we will be finishing the run. Where are you going? You and like that, we just completed Glyphic Canyon. I take orders from no one. I do as I decide.
Alright, the next level is Prison Island. Just like with the other two levels, we will be completing the normal mission for this. Unlike the other levels, the gold ring is actually located in the middle of the level. So when we start using Chaos Control and Chaos Control Glitch, if we don't cancel them out before we get to the gold ring, we actually have a good chance of bypassing it. Luckily though, we won't be making that mistake. Also, unfortunately, we won't be helping Charmy with his mission. Although it is nice to have him around. He's very energetic. It's also fun to listen in the chat sometimes. Because we'll start complaining about him. And I'll, I'll edge him on by saying, Oh, what are you talking about? He's awesome. Some good stuff. Right here is the egg vacuum gun. The egg vacuum gun is a egg that vacuums up things. And with that, I'll be able to vacuum up all these enemies and gather massive amounts of hero points in a short amount of time. With the checkpoint, I can then activate chaos control glitch. Getting around a minute time is ideal for this stage, for this mission. As I stated earlier in the run, we do need to make sure we exit Chaos Control at the proper time or else we will miss our exit. So I'll be doing that now. And like that, we just completed Prison Island Normal. I found it, the fourth emerald. Alright, the next level up is Sky Troops. Just like with the other levels, we'll be completing the normal mission. And to do so, we'll be also acquiring hero points as fast as possible to use Chaos Control Glitch as fast as possible. So how I'm going to go about getting Chaos Control is really interesting here. I'm going to kill those enemies. I'm going to heal the Eggman robots since they are allies at the stage. And we're going to make a way all the way back to this gun here. This is the Omachow gun. In this game, Omachow decided to be a little more helpful by becoming a gun that shoots piercing, ricocheting Omachow bullets. With these bullets, I'm able to clear out an entire room of bad guys with just a few shots. As shown right here. A little mistake here, but that's fine. We're still getting to this checkpoint at a relatively fast time. At this point, it would be a good time to read donations as we watch over the nice area. Right here, this section is actually going to stop me, so I'll actually exit Chaos Control Glitch sooner than that so that I can continue moving across the level as soon as I drop. And then activate Chaos Control again once I get past the barrier. Thankfully, the level just can makes you continue on, regardless if you have enough hero meter or not to keep Chaos Control. And once we hit the goal ring, we've completed the normal mission for Sky Troops. You're not getting away from me this time, Doctor.
Next up is Iron Jungle. This is the one mission we're going to be doing a little bit differently. So the mission here is that we need to stop Eggman from escaping. Since I don't need to really destroy killing enemies to do this, I can just ignore most of them. And only attack the ones that I really need to. This mission itself is actually rather short if I can do it just right. We'll be taking advantage of the power of the shadow rifle here, if I can pick it up. As I mentioned earlier in the run, this is gun that sh this is the gun that kills enemies in one shot. However, that won't be the case for this Eggman balloon. It'll require a good chunk of the rifle's ammo. But from here, we can just fire away at it. Not a worry in the world. And like that, we're done. You can't escape me, Doctor. I will find the truth from you. Because we completed Iron Jungle, we have to face this mini boss here. There's not much to it. Assuming you're fast enough, and you mash fast enough, he'll go down in five to seven seconds. I average around six and a half. An android? Me? I don't believe you. Maria was like So the professor created All right, next level is Cosmic Fall. This is usually a harder level for people to do. It usually involves a lot of platforming. Thankfully though, we'll be skipping a good chunk of it. If timed correctly, there's a jump here that will allow me to skip a good chunk of or these two platforms right here. Unfortunately, I didn't miss it. In which I'll just land on the second platform and we'll get up top. I'm gonna grab this checkpoint here, just to be safe. The last thing we need is to go through that entire section again. I want to make the spin dash jump across this, however I missed the cycle from getting the checkpoint. So I have to wait for when the platform rises to make my jump across safely. Doing so earlier than that would have made me fall short and too low. There's been that jump to get over here, and another spin dash jump to skip all of this. This is Vector. Vector needs to get to the computer room and we need to help him find it. That is the mission we're going to be completing today. Alright, by grabbing that orb we actually filled up our hero meter completely. And therefore, in hero shadow mode. 
I'm not using the Chaos Control quite yet, because if I save it to this point here, I can actually use Chaos Control Glitch to skip this entire platforming section. Which saves minutes of time. An advantage of this run being a New Game Plus run, I'm able to collect the five keys that are hidden throughout this level to unlock this door right here. By unlocking this door, I get the switch which adds all these ring paths into the level, which ex extremely speeds up my progress with the level. You'll notice that there was a goal ring down there. Going to that goal ring will actually complete the dark mission, which will let me face Eggbreaker, which is a very long boss and very inconsistent boss to beat. Instead, we can use these ring dash paths to get all the way to the computer room at a pretty decent pace and face Black Doom, which is a much faster boss to complete. So overall, we saved a few seconds. And like that, we found the computer room! For what reason do I exist? The answers are just up ahead. Alright, and then this is the final boss of this run, which is Black Doom. This is the second hardest version of the Black Doom fight. Mainly because of the weapons they give us. Thankfully we got it. We had a decent first attack. Unfortunately I did end up walking onto that item box. Which caused me to miss the cycle. Due to some movement issues, I was unable to complete the, complete him in this cycle either. That's fine. I was able to finish it off quickly, pretty shortly after. And with that, we completed the hero story run for Shadow the Hedgehog. This is what I must do for my attempt. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you at SGDQ. Perfect. Finally, I've got all the Chaos Emeralds. I should never have been created. This is who I am. Hey, don't go there! Yet, things may not be what they seem. You could be... So sorry, is this what I...